welcome to this episode of the Gunman Raw. So today we're painting this um, C200 Mercedes coupe, just pretty much painting down the side. So use or two blends, uh, sill cover, mirror and door handles. It's all prepped up, obviously ready to go. I've still got to do the masking. We got the wet on wet primer down now. It's a pretty hot day today, so I got some medium reducer in here. Slow it down a little bit. out there in the paint mixing room watching my my work mate waste his time um, and I know he's wasting his time because I've done it before with solid colors sometimes people and I used to do it I know because I used to do it you'd get like your color card like this and you would like smear a little bit of paint on it like that dry it out and then have a look at it like that without actually spraying it um, I've done that before and it actually doesn't work because for whatever reason it's like the way it dries like maybe the color sort of comes to the top and like the, the white or whatever the blacks and the white sort of sink to the bottom so you're getting a false representation of what that color is actually going to look like when it's sprayed on I told him but he wouldn't listen I'm like man do it like I said dude like do do a dunk and then do a bit where you just put a little bit of thinners in and spray it out and it'll look different but yeah you know sometimes people just won't listen to you they know better but it's all right i don't really care um i just come here to do my job <laughs> not buy into any of what, what other people do to be honest but i guess yeah hopefully you guys can learn a thing or two off it it does work with solid color whites because there's like not enough color in there to come to the top if you know what i mean but i pretty much any other color like i think he was doing a yellow or something i'm like yeah no nah, man i i did it once on like um a pretty nice valiant so we weren't even blending it was edge to edge and i matched it like i matched it perfectly so that the color chip looked perfect then when i sprayed it i was like what the hell man like what happened there so I double checked my color I, I i did it like that and i'm like it looks fine and then i sprayed it out again and i'm like ah that's what it is so i learned learned my lesson there um but yeah it's all good um another thing i was thinking i could talk about is like blocking and um i did a, a recent video on the pinkies blocks i'm sure you guys have probably seen them 
and had a few people like, yeah, not big, not big time, but like being like critical in the comment section. One of them was just being silly. He's like, oh, a, some guy from Australia trying to tell some English guy how to block a car. And I'm like, okay, well, if, if that's what you took out of this video, I think you probably missed the point. I, I never claimed to be telling him how to do his job. He sent me out some blocks to do a review, like, get over it, man, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I wasn't trying to tell anyone how to do anything, I was, and that's all I ever do in my videos, I, I try to anyway, like, just, I'm not telling you how to do it, I'm telling you how I do it, and you do what, man, you do you, I really don't care, you know what I mean? Um, I, I'm not too fast. I'm a bit of a libertarian. You know, as long as what you're doing is not hurting me, well then, all power to you. I guess hurting hurting me or anybody else, you know, I'm not, I, I don't really have much an opinion on it. Um, but yeah, on blocking, like, one thing I like to do, especially like for down the side of a car or even like uh, a bonnet or a boot lid, I like to do the directional sanding for most, like mostly, like, that's, like if I was blocking this, panel here most of my block work would be going in that direction so nice long strokes um, back and forth I'm not saying I wouldn't do any cross thatching because I would um, but most of it would be going in the direction of the panel and look I was taught that by a panel leader um, it was probably about 10 years ago now he was one of my bosses uh, Jason Cropley um, I used to work at one of the Sheen shops and you know, he came past, he saw the way that I was blocking the car and he explained that to me and I thought, you know what, that that makes sense, I'll give it a shot and I liked it and it's something I've sort of stuck with ever since, you know. But every time I do it, I do cop a little bit of criticism um, and I guess, look, part of it is that I might not always include all of my footage, like, you know, like to block, let's just say this was full of primer, to block that properly, you, you probably got like, 40 minutes, half an hour worth of blocking, I, I don't know, like it depends obviously, but you know, let's just say I might have only put two or three minutes worth in, I might have actually probably poor editing on my behalf, I've, you know, come to think of it, I probably should have, you know, included some of the cross hatching up, you know, but yeah, I guess what you see in here is not always the full picture, I guess, you know. And yeah, I never, I never said don't, I never said don't do any cross hatching. And you know, it's like, as I say, you know, you do whatever you want to do, man. And if you know better than me, like, that's okay. I, I, I don't mind. Um, <coughs> but yeah, it's a good day today. It's nice and warm. I like the nice hot weather. It must be about 35 degrees Celsius. Yeah, it's, um, I'm still here in Melbourne, obviously, and. Uh, it was a strange start to the summer, like, it was like, it never came, it was like cold all the way up till Christmas, pretty much, which is unusual. I guess, especially coming from Perth, I, I had been in Perth previously, I'm used to, like, pretty much over there, like, you got hot six months, less hot for the, for the next six months, you know? Um, yeah, no, I, I do miss the, the Perth climate, I'm not gonna lie. But all in all, I'm pretty happy being back here in Melbourne. It might sound like a strange thing, but like, I love the restaurants and some of the culture. Like, I love this sushi restaurant, which I'm not, sorry, not, it's a Japanese restaurant. I don't know, man. I. <laughs> If I was ever to leave Melbourne, I would miss that Japanese restaurant. They do the best ramen in Melbourne, I swear. It's a place down in Carnegie. I was actually down there the other day, like I think two weeks ago, and some Vietnamese looking guy walking down the street, he's like, oh, you're the gunman. So that was funny. I actually got spotted down at Bunnings last weekend, so I do get noticed um, here and there around Melbourne. It did happen a couple of times in Perth, but obviously Perth's a bit smaller of a, a city, so. But yeah, no, it's always, it's kind of funny. But one of my mates, um, Genie, he's, he's like, ah, oh, does it get annoying? Like, stuff like that. And I'm like, nah, not really, man, because 
But you gotta think the kind of people that watch my videos, like they're sort of blue collar, they're, they're you know, just working class type people. So they're not, they're not the kind of people that are really gonna like annoy you. You, you know, I don't have like packs of 15 year old girls screaming at me, you know what I mean? And so I'm not like Justin Bieber or anything. So yeah, they're sort of, yeah, the working class type people, which are, I don't know, my kind of people, I guess. They're not annoying, not as annoying as some of the other classes of people, I guess. But yeah, no, it's all good. I don't know, I'm rambling. It's Friday, mate, and I feel like making a vid, so. Um, I went off the raw vids for a few weeks there. I don't know, just wasn't feeling it. Listening to loads of podcasts. I'm looking forward to this weekend as well because um, I'm probably going to be painting the tailgate on my little Corolla. I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need to get it done. So I'll take the, the tailgate trim off tonight maybe. Maybe have a start, start popping the dent out. There's a little bit of low spot there. And hopefully the fan, the extraction fan came in. I ordered one from eBay. I got a pretty good price. It's like one of those sealed, it's a 300 mil I think, so like 30 centimeter diameter um, extraction fan with a hose on it, so that should be handy. Obviously be sure to subscribe to my main channel for, for more on that because, but I was even thinking I could do some like garage videos on the Raw channel. I was even thinking of doing like some live streams. I don't know, see how, I'll give it a shot and see what people think of it. Um, yeah, because my garage has just got Wi-Fi, so it might just be enough to do some live streaming of, I don't know, just prep work or something like that, or even just do a paint job in there. Let's see how we go. Oh yeah, I'm even looking forward to possibly doing some more of those custom paintwork projects like I used to do. You probably remember I did that custom painted gaming table. I did the Nintendo 64s and the controllers. They were fun. I was thinking of getting, um, getting one of those vinyl plotters. Now I've got the place to do it at home. Just sort of do some, yeah, play around with some airbrushing and yeah, that, that could be good for the channel as well, you know. Do some flakes, flake, you know, just some, yeah, custom type paintwork. Should be fun. I've actually got loads of flakes at home too, so I've definitely got no excuse not to do that kind of thing. I guess the next thing is, what am I gonna paint? I've got, I've got this little model car, like a, uh, a wooden model car, which I'm thinking of painting. I don't know, give us some ideas. I've got a skateboard deck there as well, so probably do something with that. But yeah, my boss was saying that the insurance company didn't even want to give us blends on this. So this is a, a solid color white, meaning that there's no metallic in it. And um, the insurance didn't even want to give him blends. He had to um, convince him, I guess. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, I was a little bit surprised. But I guess I was thinking about it when I was prepping the car up. And for any of you who are not in the industry, who don't understand that kind of thing, like a lot of the time, I think you'll find like the panel shop wants to do the job properly, you know. And when you see people say cutting corners and things like that, it's it's not our choice, you know what I mean? Like, it, it really isn't. And I can guarantee, like, you see we're masking up that quarter glass there. I can just about guarantee that's not our choice. Like, if it was up to us, we'd be pulling it out. So, I mean, I don't ask, I don't get in, like, it's not my business, I don't, I don't ask all of those questions. If something has to come off, I'll ask for, to, for it to come off, but I won't ask whether or not the insurance company is going to pay for it or, you know, I'll, I don't usually get into it, but, um, yeah, my point is that it's the insurance company. If you want to get mad at someone for not doing the, the job properly, eh, I mean, yes, okay, part, in some cases, yes, it, it's the body shop itself if they're not doing the job properly, but a big part of it is the insurance company. 
who doesn't want to pay to get the job done properly. They just want to save money. I guess part of that is do your research. Don't just look for the cheapest fee, you know, like the cheapest insurance is probably the cheapest for a reason. Even like this, like there are shops that they would never mask a headlight up like this, but you know, obviously dealing with different insurance companies. I just do what I gotta do, mate. Don't hate the player, hate the game. So we got to do a little bit of fine line taping up the top there. Might, I don't know if fine line's even really going to work that well. Might have to use this one actually. Precision poly tape. Yeah, it's a little bit concerning what's going on up there in the Ukraine. But as I said in one of my previous videos, I um, do not support any war, full stop. Whoever's, whoever initiated it, I'm, I'm not gonna support either side. I, um, I was probably in my 20s when the Iraq invasion happened. I bought into it, I bought into the propaganda from the media, I supported it, um, and I regret that. I really do. I really, really do regret that, and I said to myself, it's actually more recently that I said that to myself and said, you know, like I'm not going to get fooled by the media again like I did that time. You know, I, I really, I really feel bad that I, um, I believe they're bullshit and it's not going to happen again. So I don't care what Russia does. I'm against any, oh, well, I do, sorry, I do care what they do. Um, but I'm against any kind of retaliation, you know what I mean? Like I don't, you can't, you'll never be able to justify to me, NATO or America um, joining in. It, Cause yeah, I don't, I don't even listen to the mainstream media anymore. I'm sure many of you guys don't either. If you're, if you're here on YouTube, it's a good chance that you don't. Um, Yeah, who wants like who wants war that's what I was saying to my mate before because he was the other day I got I told him straight up I said man you gotta be careful how like gung-ho you are about supporting he's like oh man these Russians are able to watch out you know because if NATO goes in blah 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 I just said man you might want to reevaluate your position there dude because who's to say that they haven't got plans for this you know because that would be Russia versus America in, in like an all out war, I guess. Cause, and, and if it was, like who's to say that they're not gonna shut down our power grids? Who's to say they're not gonna, you know what I mean? Like that could come to your house, man. Like if you need some sort of an electric device to power your life, and, and I guess we all kind of need it, you know? Um, it could get cut off like that. So yeah, I just, just kind of, Helping him put things into perspective and just like cool the jets, I guess. Don't don't be so gung ho about it. Um, whose side do you think China's on? You know, that's that's not going to end well. <laughs> I just think I don't know. It's a messy situation. I'm just some dude who paints cars, so I do my best to actually take a step back from everything that everyone's saying. You know, because. I know that this is the time where the propaganda is going to be in full swing from both sides and I'm not taking a side. That's my stance, my official stance. I'm not taking a side. I'm on the side of the people from, from every country. I'm sure that the, um, if you were to do a poll on the Russian people, I'm sure they wouldn't want what? And I'm sure if you were to do a poll on the Ukrainian and American people, they probably wouldn't want war. Um, so, 
I guess, I guess that puts it into perspective as to whose wars they are. It's, it's not our war. It's the rich and the powerful. But yeah, I guess um, shit like that puts masking a um, masking a tarot molding into perspective, doesn't it? You know, like see, sometimes I'll do a video. Oh man, that's like a seventy thousand dollar Mercedes Benz. Rah, 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 rah. It's like, dude, there's people around the world getting um, killed. You know, uh, put it into perspective. You know, it's not the not the end of the world. interested to hear your thoughts on the war like as I say I don't I don't buy into it that much online I don't I don't go out of my way to seek content um, related to it I do listen to some people like um, Tim Paul and Sticks Hexenhammer they're both like libertarian type people anti-war guys you know so over the years I've, I've, I've come to trust their opinions and yeah I'd be interested to hear your thoughts because you're my followers and if you've got a similar stance to me, be sure to let me know. I know some people don't like it when I weigh into these kind of political issues, but tell me I'm wrong, mate. Tell me I'm wrong that war's bad, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. I'd... I was on the side of freedom with COVID too, which seems to have taken a bit of a back seat. No one's really talking about that anymore. I was always on the side. When that thing came around, I was like, I was blown away. I was like, man, as far as I was concerned, my freedom was never yours to take away in the first place. It would like you, like to any government, you never had that right. You know what I mean? But I, I was obviously wrong. Um, going into it too on that topic going into the pandemic the original plan was to It was never to lock entire populations down. That was never even talked about. That wasn't was not What was planned? It was always protect the vulnerable and we just we didn't do that <laughs> it, was, it was bizarre like I was saying that from the start. I'm like, okay, like this virus, you know, like it it affects the elderly and the immunocompromised and those with, you know, like bad hearts and um, those with low vitamin C and all these kind of things. So wh why don't we just educate and protect those kinds of people? I just couldn't understand the way that they, especially over there in Western Australia, that was like insane, man. They're still, I don't even, I think they've just opened, yeah, like in the last, I think this week actually. But, you know, um, the truth is, most people don't even agree with me, especially over there in Western Australia anyway, like that, they, they were pro, like they wanted to just isolate themselves for the rest of the world, seemingly forever. So I'm not even trying to pretend like my opinion's popular, but 
uh, who knows, mate? Who knows? I don't know. I, that, I ended up just taking a step back from caring about it. You know, that's. I don't. I don't even have strong opinions on all that crap anymore. It's just like, just focus on yourself. You know, live the best life you can. Be happy. Anyway, we're ready for prep sale. I feel like I've just been gas bagging and ranting. Hopefully you're enjoying it. I might even um, break this into a masking video and a painting video because I feel like this masking stage has gone a little bit longer than I would have expected. I'm going to get my prep all rigged. Still making sure I wear my respirator when I'm prep soling. Rightio guys, the camera just roasted and overheated and just turned off. But anyway, we'll call it a vid at that and I'll see you in the next one. We get the base coat and clear coat down. Hope you enjoyed watching and until next time, get out there and paint some shit. Coming out. Again, if you would like to support the show, be sure to go and check out the link in the description. You can buy some government merchandise, including those awesome spray suits. I will see you.